Hi, I'm Andrea Dresch with the News Now webcast for Friday, September 24th. A detective from the TCU Police says investigation of an open sexual assault case from September 9th has ended. According to the SCIF, the reporting party turned over disciplinary actions to Campus Life, ending the police investigation. According to the student handbook, if the offender in a sexual assault case is another TCU student, it could face suspension or expulsion. The Battle of the Iron Skillet kicks off at 7 p.m. in SMU's Gerald J. Ford Stadium. TCU will fight to maintain possession of the coveted Iron Skillet Trophy, a prize it has held possession of since last season's 39-14 victory over the Mustangs. The soccer team travels to San Antonio tonight to take on the UTSA Roadrunners at 7 p.m. The team returns home to take on Texas State this Sunday. Men's tennis is in Waco competing at the Baylor HEB Invitational for their fifth showing in this tournament, while cross country and men's golf are both in Stillwater, Oklahoma this weekend. Cross Country competes in the Cowboy Invitational on Saturday, and Men's Golf begins their season at the Ping NCAA Preview on Sunday. California-based hamburger chain In-N-Out Burger is coming to Fort Worth. The Star-Telegram reports the chain will go in at the northwest corner of West 7th and Curry Streets, its first Tarrant County location. The new burger joint is scheduled to open mid-2011. The new owners of the Texas Rangers are speaking at the Omni Hotel on Monday. Nolan Ryan and Chuck Greenberg will be the featured speakers at the event, which is part of the TCU Legends Speaker Series. Tickets are, for the event are available through Athletics Media Relations, and proceeds will benefit both the Kinderfrog School and the TCU Baseball Program. That's all the news for today. Be sure to check back Monday for the daily webcast. I'm Andrea Dresch, TCU News Now.